Video of aquatic environments can provide important information about ecosystem health and suggest locations where environmental processes, such as groundwater surface water interactions, may be important. But when combined with quantitative data from environmental sensors, these videos provide an even more powerful method for examining how water, streambed, or lake bed parameters correlate with the observed environment. These videos also represent an opportunity to engage the public and connect what was observed qualitatively with what scientists observe via environmental sensors. The data shown in these videos were collected using a highly instrumented canoe, which was equipped with GPS, frontward and downward facing GoPro cameras, and water depth sensors, as well as a series of water quality sensors and a Geonics EM31 tool for measuring subsurface electrical conductivity. Each of the data sources collected from the site were combined into a single data-rich video using RaceRender. In the upper left, the path traveled by the canoe from GPS data is displayed, along with the current position in red. In this particular video, you can see that the lake was circumnavigated twice to assess data consistency. To the right, a series of water quality measurements, including water temperature, electrical conductivity, dissolved oxygen, and pH are displayed, as well as an estimate of lake bottom sediment electrical conductivity derived from the EM31 measurements. You can see an orange dot representing the current location in the float. In the lower left, an inset showing the downward facing camera imagery provides an opportunity to observe underwater changes in plant communities and changes to lake bed materials. In this stream survey conducted on the Grant River in southwestern Wisconsin, we are able to observe an example of groundwater surface water interaction in both the video and in the response collected by the environmental sensors. The large influx of water seen on the right side of the video is a spring or a location of groundwater discharge to the land surface. Because groundwater is stored underground, during summer months in Wisconsin, it is colder than the surface water because it is not subjected to heat from the sun. When the canoe collects water along the edge of the river near the spring discharge point, we see the temperature plot spike downwards because the colder groundwater is entering the river at this location.